In December 2021, Roseanne Gibson was working with her nephew Christopher at the family newsagent shop in Glasgow. One of our customers came in with a gift for my grandson, quite a big bag of gifts. And I kind of greeted her with her wee dog in the morning. And just as I, as I was talking to her, I was aware of all the newspapers coming off the counter. I noticed the customer coming in and pulling down a balaclava at the door. At first I thought it was going to be a prank, just as a joke. But it wasn't a prank. It soon became clear the masked man was brandishing a claw hammer. I thought, well, if he comes in and he gets my head, I'm not going to survive this to see my grandson. Instinct kicked in for Roseanne and her nephew. And within seconds, Christopher had flung a pile of newspapers at the intruder before four foot 11 Roseanne knocked him to the ground. So I kind of turned my shoulder around and I managed to get him down just as that. And my nephew had jumped over the counter and he was on top of him and I ended up on top of Christopher trying to hold this person down. Yeah, it all happened very quickly. Within a matter of seconds, the man was on the floor and Roseanne had him. Along with nephew Christopher, hero Gran Roseanne held the would-be armed robber in place as she not only managed to pull back his mask, but also call police for help. Clear enough, I had my phone and I managed with, don't know how it happened, but um, I'm still holding my hand on the man's face and trying to phone the police at the same time. It seemed like a lifetime while I was still on the, op on the phone to the operator saying, you need to hurry up, come along, he's going to kill my nephew. When police officers arrived, the man was arrested and later jailed for 30 months after admitting attempted armed robbery, threatening violence and being in possession of a knife. If it was to happen again, I would still do the exact same. That's all I could say. Please give a huge round of applause for Roseanne Gibson! <laughs>you watch that is it like it's happening to someone else or uh -huh. yeah uh, honestly it's, it's scary now that i realize what we've done my, my nephew and i but it brought back a lot of memories. i just love what you say about the that there's an instinct that just kicked in to protect and and to go but when you watch it it must feel why did i do that why did i go but was it just immediate for you it just just the adrenaline kicked in. I mean, it, it's been in the family for over 40 odd years. So you're not- What, the adrenaline? <laughs> <laughs> no, the but you're not good. You're, I mean, you're not gonna let anybody steal anything from you. And I mean, we were up early in the morning, we're trying to tidy up after Christmas. And then this person comes in, so that no be. That's it. <laughs> we're trying to tidy up here, get out. We are delighted to welcome two more of the stars of your favourite comic show. It's the second and third funniest stars of Still Game. <laughs> Bobby and Victor, actors Gavin Mitchell and Greg Hempel, everyone. An absolute honour to meet you. Uh, you're a brave, brave woman. Congratulations. Absolutely. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. We could have done with you in the Klansman, to be honest, <laughs> to, get, to get rid of some people. But the way things are going tonight, you know, as we're near towards the end, you've got some people. I mean, you've got Irvin Welsh, uh, you've got old Logan there, and you've got uh, <laughs> Rafe Crime. So there's some people needing a doing, you know. <laughs> but uh, but I, uh, so. You gave the award, I don't want to give I think you should give it to her. No, you gave the okay, award. So just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. Thank you to Greg and Gavin and give it up for Roseanne.